Hey everybody, we just wanted to stop by and say that we just came out with a new design in the Tula shop. If you missed it the last video, here's another reminder. And the link is right in the description. Thanks for watching. It's good to be a blast. So it's time to turn around and start catching some of these bumps and surfing and, and having some fun. And if I have enough energy, we'll paddle back out and do it again. My name is Billy, this is Sierra, and our pup Jetty. This is our home. Her name is Adrenaline. We decided normal lifestyle isn't quite right for us, so we've been living an unconventional but fulfilling life of challenge and adventure. Be sure to subscribe below and hop on board. We have been in the United States Virgin Islands for a little over a month now. Generally, when we go to a new place on any of our trips, we like to get out and experience the culture and meet the locals and support their economy by going out to eat. But with the pandemic, we've just been kind of sticking to ourselves and catching up on a lot of work. Even though we can't go out and experience it how we normally would, the Virgin Islands have still become one of our very favorite places because the water is absolutely gorgeous. The wildlife is unbelievable and we feel so lucky to be able to be here. And who wouldn't love waking up to these turtles every single morning? The most fun thing in the world on this thing is just riding the swells downwind with the wind, just catching the bumps. And it's like you're surfing in the kayak. The challenging part is getting upwind to start. <laughs> the other challenging part with this kind of kayak is that it's so skinny. It takes a lot of balance to keep it stable and not flip over. So hopefully I don't flip over. against me so it's gonna take me a little longer to get back than it would if I had the current with me. It's gonna be a blast so it's time to turn around and start catching some of these bumps and surfing and, and having some fun and if I have enough energy we'll paddle back out and do it again. So it's making it a little challenging. It's an old surf ski too, so it's got some cracks in it. So it's probably pretty full of water by now after heading into the wind like that. Here we go. bunch of lobster here in the US Virgin Islands a lot more than we were expecting and some big ones too like look at this guy this is just the head 
But uh, apparently there's a lot of meat in the head and I didn't really know that. I knew that there was meat in the legs and of course the tail, you always eat the lobster tail, but in the big ones, uh, the head. And like a lot of the little lobster, there's not a ton of meat in the legs, but in these big ones, like there's a good amount of meat in these legs and it's really good meat. So, but we're experimenting with steaming. Today is like a day where we're just cooking all the legs from all the lobster we got the past few days. And we're also steaming the head and we're gonna see what the meat's like inside that head. So we're just steaming everything up. We're gonna make some potatoes and corn and have a whole lobster broil, boil, boil. <laughs> Load that. How, how do you country, how do you southerner say it? The crawfish boil? Crawfish boil. <laughs> <laughs> We say we've been getting a lot of lobster here, and for us, we are, like, this is amazing. But the limit here is two per person per day, and they have to be three and a half inches from the tip of the horns to the back of the shell, which is called the carapace. And you are not allowed to spearfish, so we have been finally using the snare I got Billy for Christmas. It's so awesome. Which was only delivered uh, like a week ago and which, it's April. <laughs> which is great because you you caught two big lobster today with the snare but they were both they both had eggs um, so it was easy like you didn't harm it with the snare and then you just let them go and it's whatever. I would say it's easier than the tickle stick in the net um way easier. in most of the rocks that we're trying to get yeah, them in because you don't have to easier. deal with the net trying to fit into tiny holes you can just sneak the stair snare behind them make sure they are big enough and if they're not let them go on their merry way you all know jetty is a genius of course she is well when she wants food she lets you know The other different thing about lobstering here is that you can get them all year. The same bag limit applies to per person per day, but you can get them all year. A lot of St. John is considered national park and you are not allowed to spearfish there, but you are allowed to spearfish snapper and other fish um, everywhere else. You cannot spearfish lobster. That's your fishing info of the day. Time to eat. Would you like me to dip it in butter? Now it's got butter. <laughs> She's a buttered girl. A butter kind of lobster girl. You're a princess. So, tip of the day, if you ever get a larger lobster, save the head, save the antennas, save the legs because they are delicious and you can get tons of meat off them. Yeah, there's a lot of meat. I honestly think you get more meat than like king crab claws and that kind of stuff. Only if you catch the size that we got. Yeah, so another amazing day here on Adrenaline in the USVIs. And if you think we were going wild with the lobster, well, wait till you see our chocolate chip cookies. We're gonna head out and do some fishing, uh, probably some yellowtail snapper fishing, see if we can get some yellowtail, maybe a mutton or a grouper or something if we're lucky. And then we'll probably go diving this afternoon and just, yeah, try to have fun all day long. We've spent a lot of time while we've been here just editing on the computer, doing computer work and stuff, so we just gotta enjoy it while we're here. <laughs>
Well, it's only 11 and a half inches, so there we go. Ocean karma. There it goes. Watch the bird come down and swoop and take him. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Way bigger. Come on, you got it. Got it. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, we kind of got a little bit skunk, but at least we got one fish. Nice little yellowtail snapper. It'll be a good little snack. We actually have to use some ground beef, so we're having burgers tonight, but we'll freeze him and uh, and use him for uh, for lunch one of these days. Probably one day up on, on the trip coming up. Whoa. Ah! 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 Daddy, daddy, daddy! Ah! ah! We're gonna have some light days of wind. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully we luck out and it's a little bit more than they're saying. And hopefully the other days of wind that we have are pretty decent. I don't think we're really at risk of having too much wind except for maybe one day in the middle of our trip like three or four days in there's gonna be a cold front it looks like it's gonna be a very mild cold front maybe not even like barely hit us and then at the end of the trip we just got to be in by by Tuesday bigger looking cold fronts coming through but that's such a far ways out that might not even happen and it, it could be smaller it could be bigger so I, I'm confident we'll get in by then um, or else we'll just tuck tuck and hide somewhere we don't want to be in the Gulf Stream when the wind turns out of the north. Our time in the Caribbean is quickly coming to a close. The past year has been nothing but spectacular and we have seen some of the most beautiful places, met some amazing people, and literally had the time of our lives. I know a lot of you are waiting ever so patiently to find out what comes next, but stay tuned, we have a handful more videos to go. And if you want to get little hints, you can come follow us on Instagram because we drop a little hint every week. We want to say thank you all so much for watching. We couldn't do this without you. 